welcome to the Entertainment Science Fiction Programming Network, your ESPN of science fiction, the Aquafire. Good morning. Ohio gozaimasu. Bonjour. Buenos dias. Zao shanghao. Zao an. And welcome. There are two figures. When one of them remains hidden, the other one is also hidden. When one becomes revealed or unhidden, then the other figure is also unhidden. We're talking about the movie Hidden Figures, so let's get into it. The figures of women, especially black women, were kept hidden. And so the numbers, computations used to take a spacecraft to the moon and back was also hidden. Hidden figures became one of the biggest movies in 2016. It was revealed, came out in the year 2016. We'll talk about that some more. Taraji P. Henson plays mathematician Catherine Goebel Johnson in the movie Hidden Figures. Actress Octavia Spencer as Dorothy Vaughn. And Dorothy Vaughn is a person who taught herself the new programming language called Fortran as to program the IBM computer. When no one else could program the IBM computer, she went and got the book, taught herself how to do it, and then she taught her group of mathematicians at the time called calculators, the Fortran programming, and they also would be able to pro program that IBM computer. And actress Janelle Monet as Mary Jackson, and she's the one who pointed out a series of aerodynamic faults in the shuttle's, shuttle's design. Hidden Figures was released in 2016, one of the top grossing films of 2016, and this is by the National Board of Review. It received three nominations for Academy Awards. It won the Screen Actors Guild Award for Outstanding Performance by a Cast in a Motion Picture. In 1961, segregation exists. Segregation exists 1961 by race and by sex. Mathematicians working at Langley Research Center in Virginia are called computers. Katherine Johnson, because of her analytical geometry skills, is assigned to the team of the Space Task Group, headed by Al Harrison in Langby, Virginia. She is the first black woman to do so. In the meantime, while this is going on in the United States, in the meantime, the Soviet Union is winning the space race because the Soviet Union, and maybe you don't hear about Soviet Union today, but it's the Union of Soviet States where you go where Russia is located, Ukraine, Belarus. So when they were united, it was called the Soviet Union. Now we hear Russia. So the Soviet Union is winning the space race. They successfully launch Yuri Gagarin. Katherine Johnson had to go to separate uh, bathrooms for blacks. Although she's part of this space task group, but segregation exists. So you have a black-only bathroom, black-only coffee pot, black-only rest area. And so when the group, let's, for instance, you're in the task group and you have to go to the restroom, you get up and you walk out. It's right near, near next to you. You walk back in. She has to get up run across a long hallway, 
down a long side of steps, across one parking lot to another parking lot, across that parking lot to another parking lot, up a long flight of steps into another building where the black mathematicians are, crossed all the way to the end of that hallway to use the black only bathroom. Now, when it's raining, it's worse because she gets drenched, soaked, and wet. Her shoes, the clothes are. When it snows and ice, you can imagine, takes longer. You're slipping and sliding down the steps, across the parking lot, trudging through snow and ice in another parking lot and another parking lot, barely making up the ice steps and across, and then you got to clean yourself off to get. And so here, Al Harrison, the head of the group, becomes frustrated. So everybody goes to to the restroom, they go right here, and they come right back. You take long breaks. You're an hour or more. And then this is where she gets frustrated. She said, look, I got to go to a black-only bathroom, which is located the hallway, the steps, the parking lot, hour and a half it takes me. So Al Harrison now becomes frustrated when, she, when he understands what's happening to in this situation. So he, he removes all the black-only sides on the coffee pots and everywhere else. So she is no longer hidden, although part of the group, she's no longer hidden. She's with the group. The reports that she needs that has the figures for space travel, they don't give it to her. Why? Because she's a black woman. Those figures are kept hidden from her. When Al Harrison notices that, now the figures are no longer hidden to her. Before she had to, they, they were all blacked out in the report, and she had to put the report up to the light and read it from the back to figure out what was going on. But now she gets a full report, she can read it, and now that she's no longer hidden, and her figure is no longer hidden, the figures that we needed to get a spacecraft up to the moon and back became no longer hidden because she figured it out how we can get a spacecraft up to the moon and back. The movie shows that she uses Euler's method to calculate how to get the shuttle to Earth and back. Euler's method is a first order numerical procedure for solving ordinary differential equations with a given initial value. Euler's method serves as a basis to construct more complex methods. It was developed by Leonard Euler, a Swiss mathematician, 1707-1783. And he used that method for calculating solutions at discrete points connecting them. She doesn't solely use Euler's method. As we just mentioned, Euler's method is a starting point, a basis for other mathematicians, for mathematical methods, mathematical equations. Why, if you go on to read her paper that she wrote along with Tess Kopinski, Euler's method is one part of the fuller, deeper math that she used to calculate the astronaut's trajectory. Then she goes on with her deep math methods to calculate the trajectory for Apollo 11. And later on, she calculates the trajectory for the space shuttle. She won the Hubbard Medal for her work. And later she won the Presidential Medal of Honor. Keep those figures unhidden. When no one is hidden, when everybody is seen, and everybody has a voice, everybody takes a part, then we will always have the figures that we need. Don't forget to like, make comments, 
especially send it out to your friends and neighbors. You liked it. Oh, this is great. Go check out this, what he's saying about the movie Hidden Figure. I didn't know there was two figures. So send it out. Your aunts, your uncles, your, your, your family, your friends, send it out to everybody and make sure to like, like, and like, and make comments, make plenty of comments. We appreciate that. And go on theaquify.com and get your novel, The Aquify. Along, there's a lot of artwork there. Also, get your artwork back from The Aquify. Put your artwork up behind you while you're reading the novel. You will enjoy it. The same in depth that you're hearing about on our podcast. You will also get that in the novel and much, much more. All superheroes with super speed move slow in fast motion. How is that? How do they move slow in fast motion? Let's talk about that on our next podcast.